Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to read this story called Bluey, Daddy Put Down. Mom's going to a baby shower tonight, but Bluey doesn't want her to go because Mom won't be there to put them to bed. I'll still come in and give you a good night kiss, says Mom, but I won't feel it, pleads Bluey. Yes, you will, says Mom. Bingo asks, who will put them to bed? Your dad, says Mom. It's a daddy put down. Hooray! Not hooray. As soon as Mom leaves, Bluey misses her. How about we play a game to take your mind off it, suggests Dad. Let's play follow the leader, yells Bingo. Yeah! Bluey, Bingo, and Dad head inside to play the game. Right, I am your magnificent leader, and you have to follow me. You kids got that? growls Dad in his most leader-like voice. Yes, leader, choruses Bluey and Bingo. Follow, follow, follow the leader. The kids follow their magnificent leader, but not for long. What? You were supposed to be following me, shouts Dad. Get back in line. Sitting around will not be tolerated. Ha, ha, ha. The game starts again, but the magnificent leader loses his followers. He can't find them in the living room or in the kitchen. Kitchen, he, 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 or in the bathroom. Grr, where's that giggling coming from? They're not even in the backyard. One, two, three, boo, arg. Follow the leader is fun, but Bluey still misses mom. She needs another game to distract her. Bingo suggests come here and go away. Dad starts pushing Bluey and Bingo on the swing. Come here, says Dad. Okay, so the girls giggle as they swing away from him. Hey, come here. They have a lot of fun, but Bluey is still sad. The games only take my mind off missing Mom for a little while. Please, can you call her? asks Bluey. Okay, it's just that she was really looking forward to this baby shower, says Dad as the phone rings. I don't understand it. Why would you want to watch some stinky baby have a shower? Dad, that's not a baby shower, says Bluey, laughing with Bingo. Bluey and Bingo know that a baby shower is a party for a lady who has a baby in her belly. This gives Bluey an idea for a game of her own. She races off. Good work, Bluey, says Dad, hanging up the phone. Dad, how does the baby get in the lady's belly, asks Bingo. Whoa, Dad lets go of the swing. Bluey pretends she's going to a baby shower. She has to leave her daughter, Snowdrop, to be babysat. No, Mama, no go, me sad, says Snowdrop. She doesn't want her mom to leave, just like Bluey didn't. Bluey is excited to see her friends. She has set up the baby shower complete with decorations, snacks, games, and presents. Oh, and a pregnant lady, of course. Bluey is having a great time at the baby shower. I bet mom is having a good time too, says Bluey, opening a present. Oh, another onesie. Bluey likes guessing if the baby is going to be a boy or a girl, dancing with her friends and eating cake. But her favorite game is trying to stick the dummy on the baby. There! Ha ha! In the kitchen, Bingo and Dad are cooking dinner together, peeling the prawns, stirring the rice, and making a mess. But Daddy put-downs are a lot of fun, too. He he. Bingo sets the table and Dad carries over the hot food. Dinner! Wow, it's dinner time already, says Bluey. The afternoon has gone by so quickly. She waves goodbye and heads home so she can give Snowdrop a good night kiss. At dinner, Bluey tells Bingo and Dad all about the baby shower. There was even a pregnant lady obstacle course. It was so funny, says Bluey.
The moon has risen and the healer house is dark, except for the light left on in the front room for mom. Mom creeps in quietly and shuts the door behind her. She had a great time at the baby shower, but she can't wait to see how the daddy put down has gone. Mom checks on Bingo. She is sleeping soundly, and so is Dad. Looks like the daddy put down was a success. Mom leans over and kisses Bluey goodnight. And even though Bluey's asleep, she can still feel it. The end. Thank you.